Welcome. Hello. You lovely skanks. Welcome skanks. I'm so happy Hello. right now. Gamer. Gamer. Mel Beast. Yeah. We're playing Hotful Boyfriend. We, we might want to turn the, the game volume down. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So. The music's really good. Is there a way for us to, to start it as the song's beginning so that we can get like the whole song intro? Or is there just not a way to do that? No, there's not really a way to yeah, do that. Fuck it. Um... So, funny story, probably about, god damn, I guess probably like a year ago almost now. More than that. When we first started talking about the likelihood of us actually doing a channel one day and me getting the balls to just do it, um, this was one of the games that me and Melanie kind of Yeah, this was one of the first games got that crazy. Yeah, this is, this is one of the games we got crazy about. We were like, if we do a channel, we gotta play Hotable <laughs> Boyfriend. Or just in general, I just yeah. wanted us to play it like as friends. Yeah, so um, uh, we're finally playing yeah, Hotable Boyfriend. Yeah, we're playing Hotable Boyfriend! Um, to anyone who doesn't know, this is a dating simulator in which um, all the people you can potentially date are birds. <laughs> yes, they're all they're all. But you're birds. a human! You are the only human to and, go to this school. Uh, you'll, you'll find out. Yeah, and I'm just not... Let's not say anything else. Let's just do it. I'm excited. Yay! This. This. New gum. St. Pidgeo Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pidgeo Nations. Please enter your name. All right. What's our name going to be? Uh, Sugoi Desuchan. <laughs> let's see how much of that it'll actually let us fit and go from there. Sugoi... Oh, God. Cap locks is on. Sugoi Desu... Oh, oh that's it. Um, well, we can't do cervix. Like that's that's a different game. Mm -hmm. Christina and I always name everything ass butt, but I feel like we should come up with our own thing. Uh, Why can't we just name everything cervix? Uh, uh, no, ourselves. cervix exists in Undertale. Oh, no, <laughs> we name ourselves avian. Avian, but we're human. Um. Name it. Yeah, Avery. Oh god. Sorry. Name it. Skink. For all our lovely yeah, skinks. Yeah, we'll be skink. For all our lovely skinks. Oh, and our la oh, and we need uh, a, a skink. Last name. I like skink Tosaka. Skink Tosaka. We're gonna I like skink it. Tosaka. Okay. I'm I'm partial. It's skink Tosaka. Okay. Hi. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Uh, Tuffle Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Yes. Yes. We need to see their I hot want animu sexy, selves. sexy, yeah. It only shows once, and then it's birds all the way down after that. All right, we're doing it. How to feel fucking boyfriend. St. Pidgeo Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already biz... Oh, okay, so we're... Pl this is the girl. This is the girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess that would make sense for me to be the girl. <clears throat> it's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. <laughs> I love how it's super serious. <laughs> Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pidgeo Nations. The teaching staff and student body are made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Yeah, because she wants to fuck some birds. Duh. Oh, here, this is someone else. Uh, you don't remember which one. This You guys pick one. Yeah, and then pick a good voice because you're going to commit to it. This yeah. is one of the main characters. Do it. Do it. Some, do someone it. do it. Just Tim. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. <laughs> Ryota! Usually you'd have to be ready for an hour by now, skink. Yes, this is already amazing. <laughs> Overslept. Oh, he's so cute! Look at his blue hair. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Ew. Gross. <laughs> he can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. We're gonna shit all over that persona. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Ooh. Uh, okie dokie. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. He's like a too cool for school emo bird. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. 
<laughs> you gotta get the emo mohawk. Oh, God. You gotta full hawk your hair out. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get super into my emotion. Oh, the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeeper is no good being late on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so into this. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Ooh, so Amu. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. Lots of bird penises. <laughs> it was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Yikes. So I guess this is her second year at Bird High School. Yay! The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. First term! I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Fucking score. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Gay. Oh! The teacher's here! Alright. <laughs> Alright. Good morning, everybody. 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 <laughs> everybody. <laughs> er, and Nenaki Kuziaki. Kazaki. Uh, I, I'm. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. Oh, God. <laughs> so deep, Mr. Ooh. Kazaki. <laughs> Sarah, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? All right. Oh, look at him. Ooh, Segoy. Ooh, he's got a scarf on. This quail is Nanaki, Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously sophomoric math professor. God, we're all just going to brutally so, destroy all of these so Japanese names. We'll get it. We're going to get it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. He has narcolepsy, sorry. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Well, he's a bird, so he falls asleep pretty, yeah. pretty easily. Uh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce Shurugani. Oh, this is the one of the douchey birds. Oh yeah, Sakuya Shirigane. <laughs> what is the point? Sakuya Kun. <laughs> Here we go. Here's Sakuya Kun. I have no wish to speak with commoners. <laughs> Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> well, well, I guess that's that. Dick. Hey, 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 that's no good. <clears throat> but he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we just can't let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we're all turned into kulaks and dissenters. God, you are dramatic, Skank. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shogane? Oh, what the fuck is up? Shiragane le bel sakuya. Shiragane le bel sakuya. Oh, ooh. Oh, look at those icy blue eyes. Mm -hmm. He's got just, like a fancy coat on. Just, just <laughs> trying to take your pants off of his eyes. It seems this fantail is Shiragane sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. <laughs> He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Fuck you. <laughs> Saki sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. The fuck, bitch. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. I don't know how I feel about the any birdie. Um, it's not going away. Just, I know. Just... <laughs> I know it doesn't. I know it never goes away. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. That's a stalker. <gasps> or not. 
A morning dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Oh, it's an American bird. Um, do you want something from me? <gasps> he looked away. Uh, not, not really. Mm. Aw. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. She's carrying like an armful of bird eggs. <laughs> like, he glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Tosaka Skank, a sophomore. What about you? <laughs> I'm so into it. <laughs> Your Nageki. Fujishiro. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. Aw. Aw, he's shy. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. Oh, he's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. Bitch. <laughs> I keep meeting depressing people today. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm not depressing. Oh, God. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, it's... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Here we go. Here's the oh, other. Here's the other classy this is, bitch. This is the douchey other brother bird. Come on, Sakaya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother, you must be joking. You never once been a brother to me. Oh God. Please don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half breeds. I'll be going oh, now. Shit. Shit. Bitch. Bird throwdown. Hey, wait, just a. Sissy, that walk, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done was is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. Like Juicy J. Juicy J. <laughs> like our jaw, oh, our juicy J. Like our J, juicy J. That'll that'll never see the light of day. We no. we we tried to record an episode of Scribble Knots. It didn't it, work. The footage <laughs> fucked up, and we made a juicy J. Anyway, <clears throat> the ever popular trendsetter and ladies man Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother. Yuya, brother? Yuya is always a. Uh... I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. <gasps> You heard that whole thing, right? Are you one of Sakia's fr Are you a friend of Sakia's? I'm sorry! <laughs> I didn't mean to listen in on you! I'm just trying to do like the dweebiest anime girl ever. Haha, <laughs> no sweat. I'll try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. Oh, there's the dreamboat! I'm Aww. so fucking hot. Dreamboat, you I yeah. <laughs> this fantail pigeon is Sak. Sa I'm laughing. Sakazaki. Sakazaki, Sakazaki Yuya, Yuya, an upper class man. Ooh, senpai. Oh, senpai. I've never talked to him before. <laughs> and senpai. He should be like Ooh. Sarah Palin throughout the school. But he's thing. famous or infamous <laughs> throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. I can see Russia from my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> You're skank. Right? Hell yeah, I am. Yeah. How did you? <laughs> I saw your pictures on Instagram. I know every birdie here. Besides, you're <laughs> the only human. A single poppy and a field of rye. Ooh, senpai is like I thought that said a single poopy. <laughs> <laughs> we've, already, we've already pooped enough for today. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. <laughs> We're in the same class, that's all. I 
I'd never thought that stuck up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Ooh, burn. Oh. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. I mean, feather. Oh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Oh, he's a French bird. He Fuck really yeah, is, I'm an aristocrat. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard of anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to We're going to have to start That's remember. all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yeah, the voices are Yay! all gonna... Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. So anime. Oh, shit. Everything is so anime here. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Do it. Cause I eat a Do lot it of now. Medicine. It's because I eat a lot of puss. Excuse me. <gasps> Nobody's here. <laughs> Why? It's... There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. Okay, we get There's it. Nobody human, there's nobody here. Lots of birds. Ryota. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Oh, dis. Whoa, they got all kinds of drugs in here. Roll oh, your dice shit. to do the drugs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ethylpar, Trife, Lucio, Benze. What did these even do? Well, use them, find out. Oh, shit, new voice. <clears throat> Care to find out? Whoa! Oh, I need to make him way less dreamy. Yeah. Give me the, care, care to find out? Okay. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No, thank you. He's not sexy at all. He might be. Oh, oh, oh he is dreamy. In interesting. This partridge is Iwami Shu, the school doctor. <laughs> I'm change it up Iwa, a bit Iwa, there. Iwamine. I, Iwamine Shu. Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. Oh, yeah. He's rather creepy in person, and he has a bad reputation among the student body. Oh, so he's... So he's like... Oh, he's like a horror hot. Yeah, he's... he's like spooky creepy. Yeah. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus psittacosis, or even so worse goodness. things. <laughs> and I've never even heard it come in the door. Ninja doctor?! Just because he's from Japan? Okay, really? That's, Come on. That's racist. <clears throat> you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota. Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't he right come back. find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Bye bye bitch. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration. <laughs> I get it, because they're birds. Bird watching. <laughs> birds watching. Wasn't the birds. there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. Birds on the track team, <laughs> lol. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. Aw, that's adorable. Oh, that's like rigging the Special Olympics. I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo, coo! There is no pudding for a man. This is no pudding for a man. Coo! Okasan rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Bitch, what? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love it. Okay, so. <laughs> he's the only one who's not he's sexy. He's still even. a bird, even in his sexy dude form. He's just. 
this is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool! Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Cool! Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided for new members. But this is no pudding. Outed. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. Dude, it's pudding. Calm down. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the jests, young lady. Okosan used wing attack! It's super effective! Oh. <laughs> They'll rue the day they crossed Okosan. How will have them flayed, hanged, shot a don! He will! Okosan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. <laughs> and he's gone. I like how it played the Roadrunner yeah. sound effect. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pidgeo Nations. God, a lot of shit happened really Oof. fast. <laughs> yeah, they pretty much threw a lot of shit at us. All right. Okay, this well, might be a good point to pause. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bye, bye, I'm really bye, enjoying bye, this. Bye. I'm having a lot of fucking fun. And I hope you guys are too. Oh, yeah. This um, is great. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you next time for more Hotful Boyfriend. Bye. bye.